Alright, so when we divide fractions, we actually do something called multiply by the reciprocal. So what that means, we're looking at this first example, you are going to keep the one-third the same. So one-third, we're going to change that division into multiplication. And then instead of multiplying by 7 over 6, we multiply by the reciprocal, so we flip that fraction, 6 over 7. And now that we're multiplying fractions, we can do some cross-reducing. I notice the 6 on top and the 3 on the bottom. There's the 6. There's the 3. We can go ahead and reduce those. Uh, dividing by 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And then we just multiply the numbers that we have left. 1 times 2 is 2 on the top. 1 times 7 is 7 on the bottom. So we have 2 over 7. Alright, moving on to our next example. Anytime you have mixed numbers, we do want to go ahead and uh, put these into improper fractions. So just a reminder, starting with your denominator, we work our way around. We're going to multiply. 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 1 is 10. So we have 10 over 3 divided by. And we're going to do the same thing. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 2 is 11 over 9. So anytime you guys have mixed numbers, go ahead and put them into improper fractions. And now we see that we have a division problem. So when we divide, we keep our first fraction the same, 10 over 3. Change your division to multiplication and flip your second fraction, 9 over 11. And then you look for any of that cross-reducing you could maybe do. Um, because it's multiplication, I see we have a 9 and we have a 3. Uh, we could divide each of those by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And then multiply what you have left. 10 times 3 is 30 over 1 times 11 is 11. So 30 over 11 is our reduced answer. All right, now we have an algebraic fraction. Um, we see that it's division, so our first step with division is to rewrite the problem. We're going to keep the first fraction the same, 5ab squared over c cubed. Change the division to multiplication, and then flip the second one, so 9c to the fifth over 10a to the fourth b. All right, now that it's a multiplication problem, maybe look to see if there's any of that uh, cross-reducing you can do just with the numbers. I do see we have a 5 up here and a 10 down here, so we could go ahead and reduce those. Um, divide each one by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. From here, however, I do recommend just multiplying straight across, and then we'll look at our... Um, final fraction and see how that gets reduced. So multiply your coefficients. We have 1 times 9 is a 9. And then you've got an AB squared times a C to the fifth. So AB squared C to the fifth over. Down here we have a 1 in front of our C. So 1 times this 2 is 2. And then you have a c to the third power times an a to the fourth b. I'm just going to write that in order. a to the fourth b, c to the third power. All right, so now we get to simplify this algebraic fraction. The 9 over the 2, we already reduced our numbers in the beginning. 9 over 2 doesn't reduce any further, so we can leave those. And now we're going to look at each variable individually. So first, the a's. This is an a to the first. That a to the first, it's going to cancel away one of these a's on the bottom, leaving us with an a to the third power. We had four of them, and we canceled one of them away. Now looking at our b's, we have b squared over b. This is a b to the first on the bottom. That b to the first is going to cancel away one of these on the top. If you have two of them and one of them cancels away, it leaves you with just a b to the first power. And now looking at our c's, c to the third is on the bottom. You have more c's on the top, so we're going to cancel three c's away from the five that we have, leaving us with c 
squared. And that will be our final answer. So when you divide fractions, we flip and multiply.